Hi everyone! Okay, so this is the look that I'm doing today. It's very similar to um, Vintage or Tacky's, I think it's her cotton candy tutorial that she did not too long ago. Um, this is also the look that I had for my favorites video. Um, I had a couple requests and everything like that to do it. So yeah, this is the look. And I also am wearing purple lips, Ingloft purple lips. And yeah, so let's get this tutorial started. I primed my eye with Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And now I'm going to take Max Delft Paint Pot and I'm going to apply it to my lid up to the crease. I also decided to apply it to my lower lash line. And I also noticed too when I went to the grocery store the other day, um, I was looking at the NYX stuff and I seen a pencil that was almost like pretty much the exact same color. So you could always find that NYX pencil. I, I don't remember the name of it, sorry. <laughs> now I'm going to take this shadow from L'Oreal Hip and it's from the Reckless Duo. I'm going to use the pink. You can also use uh, MAC Stars and Rockets, which is pretty much exactly the same. I can find it somewhere around here. Stars and Rockets, where are you? Okay. It's always the last one you check, right? Bingo! So you can use MAC Stars and Rockets, which has like the blue duochrome to it, or <clears throat> let's see. you can also use Max Pink Pearl Pigment, which is over there and I don't want to bother getting it, or Urban Decay's Fishnet, which is very, they're all pretty much exactly the same, pink with a blue duochrome. And I decided to use this one because, I don't know, I find it quite pigmented. I'm really not a fan of fishnet, the way it applies. It just seems to like uh, leave like bald patches even if you use a base or a primer. And Stars and Rockets applies too sheerly, I find. I'm, I'm not big, it's not opaque enough for me. And Pink Pearl, the pink is not quite as deep. It's more of a lighter pink. Um, yeah, so I decided to use this one. I just bought this one not too long ago, so I just want to use it for something. I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and apply it to my brow bone. Now I'm going to be bold and daring and I'm going to use Makeup Forever number 92. I'm going to apply that with my 217 brush and I'm just going to apply it in between the Delft and blend it into the um, Stars and Rockets dupe. Next I'm going to take Inglot's Shadow in 413, which is, it's like a, almost like a turquoise with a gold iridescence to it. And <laughs> it also has a dupe, which also happens to come from the L'Oreal hip line, which is from their showy duo. Look at that, they're almost exactly the same. That's pretty wild. But I'm going to use my Inglot one. <clears throat> The other one works, so I'm sure, just as fantastically. I'm just going to take a paddle brush and I'm going to apply it on top of the weld. I mean, Delft. I don't know why I keep on calling it weld. Actually, you know what? Mine doesn't even have a sticker. I don't know what happened to it. It must have just come off sometime. I don't know. Weird. I had to look it up on the Mac website to find out what the name was again. Now I'm going to take MAC's Graphology, which is a, I believe it's matte, it's just a matte, really dark purple. I'm sure you could just use the um, purple from the 
Reckless Duo as well. It's also a very deep purple, but this one's a little bit darker. Or is it blue? No, it's purple. And I'm going to take Max 226 and just bring it into the crease and the outer corner of my lid. I'm going to take a smudger brush now and I'm going to go back with that turquoise kind of color and apply it to the outer half of my lower lash line. And I'm going to take the graphology and apply it to the outer half of my lower lash line. Take a tissue and clean up the edges. You can also use makeup remover if you want to be really a sharp line, but eh. To highlight my brow, I am going to use Max Rice Paper. I picked up this really pretty gold color from Ben Nye. It's called Iced Gold. I'm going to apply that in the corners of my eye. This kind of picks up the gold flecks that are kind of in the turquoise or the gold iridescence, I guess. So now I'm going to line my waterline and tight line my upper waterline. So now I'm going to do the most crazy adventurous thing ever and I'm going to use a pencil to line my upper lid. I'm just doing this because I want it to be a little bit softer and the line not be as harsh. So now that I've done all that, I am going to apply my lashes, my eyebrows, and my lipstick, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the finished look. And what I used on my lips was a lipstick from Inglot, number 150. It's almost like a pearly version of Max Up the Amp beautiful purple mauve kind of color and I also used Inglot's um, glass on top of it or one of their glosses this is a pretty cool I don't know if you can see it how it's kind of iridescent and then you can see how it's like a little bit purpley looks blue in here but purple on my skin and oh yeah I also used like a purple liner underneath the lipstick just to make it a little bit more purple and yeah, that's about it for now, and um, I'll probably see you guys in a couple days. Bye. Let me tell you all about when my life got flipped, turned upside down, so I'd like to take a minute to just sit right there and tell you how I became a prince of a town called Bel Air. West Philadelphia, born and raised on the playgrounds where I spend most of my days chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cooling on, shooting some b-ball outside the school when a couple of guys who were up to no good started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got in one little fight, my mom got scared, saying, move with your auntie and Uncle Bel Air. I whistled for a cab, but when it came near, the lights place of fresh and I had a dice in the mirror, but anything that I could say that this cab was rare, but I thought, nah, forget it, you're home to Bel Air. I pulled. Up to a house about seven or eight, and I yelled to the cabbie, you home, smell you later. Look to my kingdom, I was finally there to sit on my throne as Prince of Bel Air. So I'm going to line my water lid now. <laughs> water lid. So now I'm going to line my water line and tight line my upper water line. <laughs> 